A food truck operator is accused of wheeling and dealing. Police say he was selling cocaine right out of his truck. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon learned those charges have shocked many in the Springfield community. Big Dad's food truck was often seen here in the Stuart Williams parking lot in Springfield and attracted customers from nearby businesses. Now many of those customers can't believe the operator has been arrested. For more than 13 years, transmission work, uh, brakes, tune-ups. J-Bo Bilbury has been a transmission technician at Transmission Exchange. For the last several months, he's noticed the Big Dad's food truck parked across the street from the business. I look straight over and see his truck. I I'm happy. I know I get to give me a good lunch. The city's only food truck was often parked in the lot directly between the police department and sheriff's office. Bilbury says he never saw any suspicious activity around the truck and was surprised to learn police found the operator was also selling cocaine. My first thought was, I, it's hard to believe I really love his food. Uh, sorry that he's gone. Springfield Police Detective Houston Evans says Johnny Jones was arrested after a joint investigation with the Robertson County Sheriff's Office that started last June. We were approached by an informant and uh, they stated, you know, I've got somebody that I can buy from and I think it's gonna, you know, really blow your socks off. And we said, well, who is it? And they said, well, it's, it's Big Dad's food truck. The investigation revealed Jones was storing and selling drugs with the help of the food truck. He's now charged with selling and delivering a controlled substance. We're doing our best job along with the sheriff's office to uh, keep this stuff off the street. Even after the arrest, Bilbrey and others still can't believe what may have been going on in the popular food truck. Now knowing that he ain't gonna be over there and then what he was doing while he's over there is very surprising. The food truck has now been seized as part of the investigation. Jones is scheduled to appear in court in two weeks. Reporting in Springfield, Emily Luxon, News Channel 5.